little woman fans around the world. I have wanted to discuss about this topic for a long time. What was Louise's views on money? I think it is fair to say that she saw a big difference on putting the work and being born into wealth, but also the ethical side of making money, which is what we will discuss in this episode. J.K. Rowling, she has a very controversial reputation these days, but I think the financial success of Harry Potter books in the early 2000s, we can compare that to the success of Little Woman. There was a buzz about this book and everybody was talking about it. And suddenly the poor author became a millionaire. Funny thing is, Louisa never liked a little woman. I think there are two reasons for that. First, most people miss her point. One of them being that Little Woman was written during the time when marriages were made because of economical reasons and not based on love. And Louisa May Alcock likes to criticize that. And she promotes marriages that are based on love. And the second, she wrote about her love life. Knowing Louisa's thoughts about the real life Friedrich and the real life Laurie and the reasons why Louisa rejected the real life Laurie and then all these fans from little girls to adult women writing her and asking her to rewrite the end of the book. I think that would make any person cross. We are entering to another pandemic spring. In 2021, a lot of businesses are struggling financially. A lot of entrepreneurs are looking for new income streams. I believe this is a very current topic. I have not come across a one comprehensive study that would handle Louisa's views on money and wealth. So the research for this episode has mainly come from Louisa's journals. This is Small Umbrella in the Rain, Little Woman Podcast, Why Friedrich is Poor. things that I come across over and over again as someone who studies Little Woman is that a lot of people don't understand why Louisa May Alcott decided to marry Joe to a man who was poor. This question is often followed by mentioning Laurie's wealth. Even people who have written scripts for Little Woman adaptation have asked this which always manages to surprise me because when I read the book it was always very clear for me why Jo wanted to be with Fritz and why she rejected Laurie and the book itself goes into great detail explaining this. What if I would tell you that Louisa marrying Jo to a poor character who Jo loves and not the rich character who she is not in love with is one of the most feminist aspects of Little Woman. Louisa May Alcott was born into the transcendentalist movement of New England. Transcendentalism was a religious philosophical movement that was based on German philosophy. One of the main theses of the transcendentalism was the importance of self reliancy a belief that a person should be able to take care of themselves and other people. self reliancy is often rooted to the idea that no matter the circumstances that you were born into, you can still make something of yourself and your life and leave a mark to this world. One of Louis's favorite writers was the German poet Goethe. Goethe was born into a great wealth, which eventually led him to a quest to find himself. For Goethe, being born as a rich man caused emptiness. Some readers might notice that this is down to T. Laurie's character arc. Goethe eventually found writing to be his calling, and he recommended work as the best remedy for the broken heart. In Little Woman, when Laurie is in Vienna, after he has been rejected by Joe and has been lectured by Amy, he is writing an opera which would quote-unquote, horror Joe's soul and melt her heart. But he just keeps seeing Joe in the most unflattering ways. And soon Joe is replaced by a beautiful ghost who looks a lot like Amy. And Laurie sees himself as a romantic prince. I have seen about 14 Little Woman adaptations, and this part of Laurie in Vienna has never been included. Which is a problem. In the novel, Laurie is quote-unquote flirting with this ghost for a while, and then he stops and for the first time in his life, Laurie realizes that what he is doing is silly. And he remembers Amy's words from the lecture that she kept to him. She took his hands and said that they were soft and white as a woman's and they had never done a day's of work, only picked flowers for girls and wore Juvin's best gloves. As the result of this, Laurie goes to work for his grandfather. Laurie's character arc in Little Woman is not about Amy or Joe, it is a story how Laurie becomes a man. In Louisa May Alcott's world, the only acceptable wealthy people are the philanthropists, 
with Laurie's character, Louisa May Alcott also criticizes people on the top of the class system. Joe is never romantically interested about Laurie in the novel. In part two, Joe is actually criticizing Laurie because he doesn't take his education seriously. And this is a big deal for Joe because she would like to study and go to the university. When Joe returns after an eventful year in New York and Laurie proposes her, Joe sees that Laurie is still not at all interested to find a job or to work. He basically tells her that he needs her, Joe, to be the one who tells him what to do with his life. One of the reoccurring themes in Little Woman is that Laurie is constantly unaware that he is privileged. One example of this is chapter Laurie makes mischief and Joe makes peace. Where Laurie is 15 and he pretends to be Mr. Brooke and he's catfishing Meg by sending him letters under Mr. Brooke's name and Meg was 17 at the time. There was already a rumor going on that Meg and Laurie were an item, and that Marmy was trying to marry Meg to Laurie, which happened earlier in the Meg Goes to Vanity Fair chapter. Of course, Marmy hated this rumor, and so did Meg, but Laurie was completely unaware that he almost ruined Meg's reputation, his tutor's reputation. And since Joe was hoping that Meg would marry Laurie so Laurie could be her brother, it shows that Joe was also quite unaware what is the actual cost of these kind of rumors. There are a lot of these type of instances in Little Woman. Thank you so much for joining me. Click the end screen to listen to the full episode. Why Friedrich is poor. Louisa May Alcott's views on wealth. Link is also in the description. You can listen to Little Woman podcast on Spotify, iHeartRadio and all other major podcast platforms. Take care and make good choices. Bye.